My name is Satira Santoni. I'm a consultant pharmacist for cardiovascular medicine at Bart's Health. I'm just going to talk to you a bit about adherence. And we know that with more, most long-term conditions, around a third to a half of patients aren't taking their medicines as intended. And there are many reasons for that. Some might be the fact that with long-term conditions, quite often many of these don't feel they, the symptoms of the conditions, such as hypertension, not many of them feel high blood pressure. And as a result, what they can feel is their side effects related to medicines. So some common reasons for non-adherence is side effects related to the medicines. But the good news there is that there are a number of medicines that we can use to treat high blood pressure. And what we need to do is find some medication that will work for the individual patient. Other reasons include some practical barriers. They might have difficulty swallowing tablets or even difficulty opening up the bottles. And then lastly, perhaps the more challenging ones is around intentional non-adherence. So this is where the individual feels that the concerns around taking their therapy, and that might be related to the fact that they've got concerns around long-term tablet taking or concerns around somebody else associated with those medicines, and that outweighs the needs for taking their therapy for the condition. And what we need to ensure is using simplistic language to ensure that from a patient's perspective they understand the importance of medicines and importance of therapy for that condition. So for hypertension that's important that we communicate the importance in reducing their likelihood of having a stroke and also the likelihood of developing heart failure and if they experience any side effects then they can let us know and we can think about alternatives as an option for them to find the right medicines for that individual. Thank you very much.